Can you guess before this video is over how we're going to do this? Let us know in the comment section down below. Let's go. So this photo actually looks kind of good. White balance doesn't really look off at all. However, I'm going to teach you how to tweak something to make it even better. So for that, we need the color calibration, which is already activated because we're in the scene referred mode. And I'm going to create a new instance. So not a duplicate, but a new instance. And I'm going to rename this instance as well. So let's rename it and I'm going to call this white balance because that way we know that this version is the white balance one and this is the standard one. So we're going to work in this one and we need this histogram and we're changing this view into the RGB parade view. And this is very small. So let's hit shift alt and scroll down a bit to make it a bit bigger so we can have a better look of all these lines. So now what's important to know is that the highlights are up top here, the midtones are over here, and then these are the shadows. And to have the perfect white balance, you need to make sure that everything matches up together. Now, you can just scroll this any way you want to, so towards you or away from you. That takes a couple of jumps. If you hit control and you scroll, it's way more precise. And if you hit shift and you scroll it and move it around, it takes a large amount of steps. Right, I'm going to leave this here because now these two are the same. We need to change the blue because we have been changing the greens. Now we're going to change the blue. So let's go to the blue and let's make sure that we drop this down. And for that, I want to drop down to the greens so i'm going to make sure that we're going to have less greens in the image like so and we see that this is at the same height this is basically at the same height the reds are nice we could drop the blues a little bit further and now we need to address the highlights in the reds so let's go to the reds and let's change the input r so we're going to drop down the reds themselves and this already looks a lot better and Keep in mind, when you're doing this, you will always have some sort of deviation because we've got some blues here. We've got very bright reds over here in the highlights, which you can tell over here it's clipping. So just make sure that it's as leveled as possible. And then if you have doubts about the colors to see if it has some kind of cast, go to the color picker, grab the color picker and just move it to the areas where you want to check it. So yeah, these roof pans are red which they need to be. Then these tiles have some kind of yellowish tones. That's correct as well. This is a dark brown here in the roof. So that matches. And let's go to the greens. Look, look at these greens at the left hand side here. Look at those greens. That's perfect. That's exactly how it looks in nature as well, which means we don't have a cast over them and the sky is blue without any magenta or anything. So that's how you can use the color calibration together with the RGB parade to nail your white balance.